energy bills have gone up by 120 pounds this winter alone so even with a 50 pound cut in levies people's bills will still be substantially higher this winter than they were last and the real reason bills are rising year on year is because the energy market is broken when the gas and electricity businesses were privatised in the 1980s, the Conservative government promised a competitive market that would deliver a better deal for consumers, competitive prices and sustained investment. Over 25 years later, it is acutely clear that privatisation has failed to deliver on this promise. Gas and electricity prices are uncompetitive, bills are rising year on year, the market has failed to unlock the investment the country needs, and sadly, public trust and consent has been lost. We propose a new simple tariff structure. This would have two changes and have two charges. A daily standard charge set by the regulator and applied by all companies and a cost per unit for the energy that's used. We're not choosing to go back to the Margaret Thatcher, John Major form of price controls. Um, or indeed, I have to say, as currently exists in most member states of the European Union. But it is important to have a backstop power. In a properly competitive market, there is no reason why cost reduction should not be passed on as quickly or as fully as cost increases. If there is evidence that this is not happening, that clearly suggests that competition is not properly functioning and that some kind of regulatory intervention is needed. We've been clear that the current regulator Ofgem has failed to protect the interests of consumers in the energy market. But the problem goes beyond the failings of the regulator. In our view, there are serious shortcomings with the entire regulatory framework. We believe a decarbonisation target is fundamental to our low-carbon, low-cost energy future. It will provide clarity and certainty for investors, encourage investment in low-carbon generation and the supply chain. And according to the Committee on Climate Change, decarbonising the power sector will lead to lower bills than alternative higher carbon scenarios.